Shalom. This is the brother derived from the Detroit camp. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hopefully elect of Israel, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, these speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth. That's mingled within the other nations, and they look like the other nations. If this world rests in with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, which the Bible speaks of. Okay. First and foremost, the name of the Holy Father is Yahweh, Yah, is he? Yahweh, he is, he exists. The name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is he, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is who we are waiting for to come these last days. Okay, and with that being said, Okay, I'm going to start off with 2 Peter 2 and 8. Okay, just some things I was meditating on this morning. Okay. And it reads, 2 Peter 2 and 8, For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, the vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay, that righteous man makes up part of the elect, okay, of Israel. Okay. It makes up the righteous man, makes up the Part of the elect, the whole elect on this side, who's hearing and seeing all of these wicked things that these people are doing, especially Jake, you so-called niggles, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? And what you got this from is from the wicked, Job 9, 24, and whom these people are ruling in this time, okay? And they create all the laws to further the wickedness in which you, Jake, participate in proudly. So, therefore, you will be destroyed with the proud, which is Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, because you boast on doing wicked, wickedness in a system that was set up by the wicked. And ultimately, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you're in your lot as well as them, and you will be destroyed on this side. But that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay? Some of the unlawful deeds, Moism. It's one of them. Okay? And there's a host of many others. Okay? Which is too normable to name. All right? Verse 9, the heavenly Father, Yah, by Shem, your house, I know how to deliver the godly out of, out of temptations and reserve the unjust to the dead judgment to be punished. Okay? To be punished. And you will be punished, you just who follow after the wicked. You will be punished. Since you want to hold on to your wickedness that, you, that you're getting through these laws. Let's see, they made, they made uh, smoking weed legal. You know, that jacked up your minds, okay? You no longer, you don't respect yourself or anybody else, okay? You women out there, you jake women, you're through, you're finished. You walk around half naked, you're through, you're finished. No respect for no one, rather old or young. You continue to do what you want to do. But all of this is about to come to an end. Jacob's trouble is just around the corner. We're at the threshold, and we're going to see. How proud you are, along with your handler, Esau, Edom. Okay, we're going to see how that work out. Psalms 34, 15. The eyes of the Most High Yahweh are upon the righteous, and his eyes are open to their cry. Which represents again the righteous man on this earth, the elect, the whole four elect on the side, because we're doing the things, you know, with Doing the things to the best of our ability, the things that are pleasing to the heavenly Father, the Abbas and the side. Okay, and how we are doing this? We're going out on the highways and byways. We left off from sin. Okay, we learning the breakdowns through the apostles and the elders and great millstone and the teachers on down. Okay, and it's all based on faith. We don't need no DNA. Everything is in the Holy Scriptures. It's written for our learning. Okay? We know the true names. And the most high is only begotten the Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. We know we are at the end 
of this wicked age, this ruler, the ruler the, uh, of Esau's ruling age and this wickedness. We have to end this thing, okay? Verse 16, the phrase said, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, says, against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, okay? The righteous cry, and Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, says, I hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles, okay? So, take us trouble, it's around the corner. We're at the threshold, okay? So are you wicked jakes out here to thinking that you can't be touched? Are you narcissists? It's all about you. Yeah, it's going to be all about you when that time comes. Because the eyes of the most high, your high, your high, high are upon the righteous. And his ears are open unto their cry. Okay? Not for you wicked, Jason. Not for the wicked. Okay? Psalms 34, 16. The eyes of the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the most high, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. So the remembrance of the wicked is going to be cut off from the earth. And all of you that follow after them, you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you won't make it on this side. You two-thirds, okay? You won't make it because we are back in the wilderness again in this time as it was back in the day of Moses, okay? Let's get it. First Corinthians 10 and 1, Moreover, brother, I would not have that ye should be ignorant how that all your fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat, okay? Spiritual meat. Been baptized, you know, through that spiritual word, the spiritual meat, okay? Food for that manna from heaven, okay? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Yahweh, okay? But with many of them, the Most High Yahweh was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Today, this represents the wilderness. Overthrown in the wilderness, we're going to get it. Now, these things were, were our examples to the tent that we should not lust after evil things. As they also lusted. You seeing that now? Jacob's lusting after those evil things. Mammon, which is money. They want to keep the things that they have and gain more. Not knowing that this, the, 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 the spiritual, the, 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 you have to have that spiritual treasure. Okay? And that spiritual treasure in heaven is what matters. Okay? Now these things were our example to the tent. We should not lust after evil things. As they also lusted, neither be ye idolaters. That's what some of them. As it's written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play, okay? Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand, worshiping these idols, the gods of this world, okay? And all these abominations, okay? That's other heathen. You're supposed to be wholly separated from them. But Jake out here trying to join together with them. Verse 8, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Yahweh in your house as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer, which was Yahweh side who destroyed them. Now all these things happened to them for examples and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wherefore let, it, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall you got to take heed to this okay don't get caught up out here 
Don't fall back. Keep moving forward. Okay, and the truth, when you hop by, send your homicide. This place is getting ready to be destroyed. This ain't the time to fall back. Because these people, they're done. They're finished, the two thirds and the rest of the world. If you hop by some of your house, how you gonna start in the, in, in the house of Israel first with his people? And after that, everybody is gonna be judged. Everyone. Period. And that's why you have to have the mark. Or you have by some Yahweh's side. That's what. That's why you have to have the two names and have you have by some Yahweh's side. Ezekiel. Nine and four. And the most high Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of the Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And who's going to have that mark? The righteous men, which make the elect, the hopeful elect on this side. Okay? Now let's get this in the blue letter. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Go to the end of the linear. Look at that word mark. Strong's H8420. Tav. Tav. To what? Strong's H8427. Tava, Tava. And then it's no V in the Paleo Hebrew. So why? Okay. Now let's get to this. Let's get it. It says desire mark. Just the point right here. Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. Okay. As a sign of exemption from judgment. So you have to have the sign of exemption from judgment. And that's knowing the true names of heaven for Yah Yahweh. And the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh White, Yahweh Shai. Okay, doing the things that are pleasing to the heavenly for Yah Bas and Yahweh Shai, going down the highways and byways, teaching the one hundred percent truth that was taught to us by our apostles of GMS and the like minded teachers on down. Okay, doing the video epistles, doing things to the best of your ability. Okay, and the Holy Father Yahweh said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, sit a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, and the others, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay? So, you don't have to mark an exemption. Just like in the wilderness, we're in the wilderness again, you will be destroyed. You will be destroyed. Okay? That was Ezekiel 9 and 4. Okay? Malachi 3 and 14. Get to the point. In the read, you have said, It is vain to serve the Most High Yahweh. And what profit is it that we have kept this ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? Okay? And now we call the proud happy. Yeah? They that work wickedness are set up. Yet they that tempt the most high, Yahweh, are even delivered. That's what you Jake's think. Okay? You're trying to hold on to this kingdom here, this wicked kingdom here. Okay? You're trying to build up your, your property. You're trying to get all that the money you can. But this, these things are going to burn. They're going to burn up in the thermonuclear missiles. And by the concentrated fire coming out the chariots of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in which you people ignorantly call UFOs and UAPs. This place is at the end. This place is temporal. These things will burn along with you because you refuse to let go of this world. Okay? You refuse to come back to the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You refuse to repent and convert. Okay? Back. Okay? 
So with that, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? But he's going to hit a righteous. He's going to hit a Christ of those who, who's vexed with the filthy conversation in others' place. Okay? Now, the God 3 14, you have said it is vain to serve the most high Yahweh. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinances and that we have walked mournfully before Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, so I have hosts, okay? If you want to be with the proud, you're going to just be destroyed with the proud, okay? You're going to be destroyed with the proud. The great day of the Most High is coming, okay? For behold, the day cometh that shall burn us in the oven, okay? And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up. Said the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, say, I host, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wing. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Okay? So we're going to be, you know, once it sigh and cry, once it's doing it to the best of their ability, okay, to stay upon the Holy Scriptures, okay, to offend less, to call on the true names of the Holy Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And to the best of our ability, doing the things that are pleasing, that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, represents the righteous man, the elect, the hopeful elect on the side, okay? During the video epistle going on the highways and byways, the chief place of concourse, prophesying, crying out to the Heavenly Father, praying to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, okay? But until you that fear my name shall the Son and righteous arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the star. Okay? Because that great dead of Yahabash and Yahweh is coming, okay? And you must know the true names. No more signs only be got son, because those names are synonymous with salvation, judgment. Creation, destruction, grace, benefit. Okay. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and that's the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. That song is just true. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures and the true names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, what Yahweh shot. Okay? But couldn't nobody get it and understand it but the elect, the hopeful elect on this side. If you remember, many are called, but few are chosen. These are they were not that were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. They are they which follow the Lamb with the soever he goeth. They were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay, that's the elect, the whole free elect on this side. Okay, they have. The Tawa, the Tawa, marking of exemption, okay? First Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor uh, revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. And such were some of you, but ye are wise. But ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, 
by Hashem Yahavashai and by the spirit of our power, okay? So we once was involved into this, but we came back, repented, and we heard this, this truth of the Holy Scriptures. And we learned the breakdowns, okay, through the spirit of power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahavashai. And we're doing things, we're doing an honest work on the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side, to the best of our ability, no matter what we're going through, but what pains we have, what, what, what different situations that we go through every day, we're still fighting. And that's what this is, a fight for our salvation, okay? A fight to get, to, to, to get upon that chariot, a fight, okay, a race. We're running this race, and it's not to the swift, it's about endurance. Going through patience, having patience, which is hard times, but it's almost over. We have to endure it to the end. Because this, these people here, they're not going to make it. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. They're not going to make it. Okay? But we have a hope of salvation. Okay? We have a hope of our salvation. Okay. Because come down to it. The Heavenly Father's gonna He's 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 judging. Okay. Psalms 34 and 11. Come ye children, hearken to me. I will teach you to fear the most high Yahweh. Okay. And okay. You're going to learn to fear. What man is he that desired life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and keep thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Most High Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Most High Yahweh is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, so I hear it, and deliver it them out of all their troubles. Take us trouble, it's around the corner, we are at the threshold. Okay? Then uh, with that, we have to stay upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side for our salvation, for our deliverance out of this hell hole, okay? We don't want to be a part of the destruction that's coming upon the wicked and you two, two thirds, okay? So with that, the water to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash, that will honor to the apostles and others great no stone who rule will. And with that, Shalom.